Welcome to this episode of Carp Adventures. I'm here at the Intercore, the ICC. Um, C. As you see behind me, I'm at Walthamstow uh, Reservoir 3. Funnily enough, it's the same peg um, I had last year and the same lake. Um, currently sponsored by Ian Moore at CC Moore. You like the old uh, hoodies? Oh, God. Been um, current champions, obviously, we're, we're in it to win it. Got to defend our title. Um, at the moment, we've got two pairs on each lake. We've got myself and Dale Prescott on Lake 3. You've got John Rutherford and Ben Vine on just behind myself on Lake 2. And we've got uh, Ian, sorry, Ian, Keith, Keith and Chris Beardshaw on Reservoir 1. What I'm using is, I'll show you now, I'll show the rods in a minute. I'm on the Meteor and uh, on the feed stem. What I've done is I've PVA bagged each one. Stuck one on my left one, just near the margins. Uh, I've got the channel to my right at the moment, and um, I've obviously banged one straight out to the island. Um, see how it goes. I'm not going to spod just yet. Um, everyone's been spomming. Last year it worked in my favour. I didn't spom, and all the fish come towards me. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll keep you updated, and uh, hopefully get a few fish. Okay, I don't know if you can see me very well, but what I'm going to take you through is how I make um, my spod mix. Um, as of today, I'm not spodding, but I will be tomorrow um, if the fish start showing tonight. Uh, basically, what I'm going to be using is the uh, CC More Instant Spod Sweet Nut Cloud. Um, smells absolutely mega. Full of crushed nuts, hemp, you name it, it's in there. So what I'll be doing is I'll be putting around about two and a half kilogram of dry in there. Um, looks like that. So I'll do that. There we have it, spot mix in. Still got about two and a half kilograms. What I'm going to do then is add um, some of nature's finest H2O already prepared. Um, little and often, obviously just to get the consistency right, you can either have it like, um, like a cloud or I like it quite stodgy. So you don't want to put too much water in because obviously you can't take the water back out. So I give that a good stir. do then is add um, some of the CC more feed stim. I'm not going to put all of it in, you're looking at probably around about 50 mil. Same again, some sweet corn. I'm going to add two tins. Do stir it up again. And obviously my final ingredient, what I'm going to be using, is going to be the boilies that I'm actually got on my rig. So I'll be using the meteor, just a couple of slack handfuls into it. And then obviously the live system, which I've got on my left hand rod. Mixture of all colours in there, obviously the sweet corn, the nut, it's quite a yellowy tinge to it. I think it'd be more appealing to the carp's eyes. Obviously with a hint of red. Now you can add pellet to it if you wanted to. You can add more hemp. Um, the way I'm looking at it is um, just add a little and often at a time. Because you don't know if you're putting some in there that may um, not appeal to the carp. However, a lot of people put tuna in. Um, I just believe that the, the fish like the tuna oil, not actually the tuna itself. So um, I'm not adding any tuna at this time. 
there we are, there we have it. Awesome. See that one. See, it's not very cloud, uh, not very liquidy. It's nice and uh, still in its powered form. And what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll bang that in a spawn, let that stodge up tonight, and I'll stick it in a spawn tomorrow. You can always add more feed to them if you want. There's no, there's no bloody law on really how much you put in there. I just don't like wasting it to be honest. Um, so I'll be putting in a little at a time to the required amount. So that is all ready for me to pull out some carp. Happy days. Well, it's the, uh, it's the last day. Um, I didn't blog anything yesterday. Reason being, I was just trying to concentrate on getting on the fish. Absolutely uh, dead, our end of the island. Um, I'll show you in a minute. Um, behind us, it's exactly the same. One side of the island's alive, the other side isn't. Um, at the moment, I think we're in 10th place out of 12, which ain't really good. Chris Beardshaw, who's on Reservoir 1, he's had um, two carp out, I think a 13 pound and a 10. Um, so that's good going for, the, for them on Res 1. Uh, there was a chance of us to be in it if, um, if either of us would have caught on Res 3 or Res 2. But uh, as it stands, it's, um, it's all a little bit quiet. But I'll show you what I mean. So to my front, I have the island. Um, basically everybody to the right of the island, as of from where Dale is, my partner, all the way along the edge until you get to the... Uh, so the top down there, as of last night, had um, it was nothing. And then you come to this side, and everybody down that side, especially down the far end where they think there's a sluice gate for water to come in, they've um, they've been banging them out. Um, I've got my my rig. Well, I've had two of them to um, literally where my two fingers are now to the island. Um, I did have one down here on the first day because obviously you've got the channel running along onto Lake Two. Um, that produced nothing. Small fish has been jumping down here, so I'm guessing there's a pike somewhere around there. Um, and last night, I had again two to the island, uh, not even a beep. And then, literally about an hour ago, uh, I decided to leave my right hand rod at the island, about there, and I've moved my left hand rod uh, in the middle. Um, I've got my left hand rod on a, a Meteor and a um, RS1 wafter. Um, from CC Moore, and on the right hand one, I've got the uh, live system because um, I know apparently they like fruity flavors. And the live systems one for that. You see all my gear, no idea at the moment. Um, I'll just show you the, the channel. So here we are the channel. So that connects res 3 to my right to res 2 on my left, uh, where Daft Gold. And Luke was last year, was that peg there. They seem to be pulling them out. And the peg to the left of them had a 30, I think it was a 33 pounder yesterday. Absolute hundreds of these things kicking around. One of them was actually dragging a, uh, a boilie with a um, lead core and a weight on it yesterday. I don't know if it was carrying it because I've seen them use them for the nest or if it was actually hooked in its mouth, but still, um, that's bad angling on someone's account. And this is what really grips my shit. People fucking leaving line absolutely everywhere. I was, I was gonna take it down earlier, but I just thought I'd show you. You know what I mean? That could snag anything. I've got two squirrels again living up in this tree. So much, I think there's, there's parrots living in this tree up here. And obviously see how close these get to my, to my lines. I would back lead, but he's gonna go straight over my line. Oh, felt it. If he hits it, it's the only beep I've had in three days. And same again, I'll show you who else. Obviously, someone's been trying to get the same idea I did and get um, snagged on the tree. There's a few spawns littered in the tree as well. 
So the island was a good idea. It worked last year. I mean, you know, it's a year ahead now. Thought it may have been, they may have been feeding off the island again. Obviously not, but all the swans seem to keep up down that end. That's the hundreds. I'll show you where my partner's fishing. Just put this in the bin. Basically what I did is, um, in the end, yesterday, I got all that 5Ks and I, um, I spotted it out to the island. Uh, I did sweet corn to it, you know, tipped, tipped a few things with a few boys with sweet corn, but expecting to nick a bite, but it's all been quiet so far. This is where Dale's fishing this with my partner. He's had a, uh, same as me, sweet FA. Uh, and he's same again, he's, he's got part of the island. He's on the tip there. Um, where are you now? You're to the right hand side now, here. Well, you're right on the rod still. Yeah. And there's a little corner around here where Dale is. And he's PVA bagging some of that nutty, cloudy spot mix out. He's around this area here. But it seems to be these pegs that are producing all the way along there. Um, you know, there's always winners and losers. Unfortunately, the bar looks like we won't be winning this year. But the end of angling is, you know, to come and have a good time. Hopefully bag a lump, but I did that at the beginning of this week. Bagged a, bagged a couple, so I'm not overly pissed off. Um, however, we did play a trick on the newest team member last night. Don't know if you've heard of the uh, Bite Alarm app application on the iPhone or uh, any Android application. Uh, yeah, we basically got them a good one. If I any chance I can upload it on there, I will. Um, <laughs> Uh, I've never laughed like a little girl in my life before. It wasn't funny for him though. You were gutted, weren't you? Yeah. Proper gutted. But never mind. Um, that's him initiated into the team now. Um, next year, we've got another little upcoming fisherman coming, a little guy called Brownie. He's marshalling at the moment. He'll be part of the team um, if he bags a few. Uh, but yeah, check out um, the RLC Carpers website. Um, also check out Facebook website, Facebook RLC. Um, I might be running a competition later on, so um, keep watching. And hopefully, four hours to go, we could bag a, a 40 pounder. Oh, flip. It's all quiet, that's what I think they're waiting for. I think, you know, save the best to last. But then again, we're, I'm, I'm happy that we're not the only ones who haven't caught. If it was that case, I'd be fucking packed up and gone by now. But you've got to stick with it, haven't you? So um, ears open for a last minute fish. Maybe bangers down to fifth or fourth. Um, all I want to do is beat the medics, plaster technicians. <laughs> right, it's um, about three hours to go. Um, it's all quiet apparently on the lake last night, so it just wasn't my swim. Thank God for that. Um, I think I've thrown a little competition. Start off small, because um, obviously I haven't got many subscribers. Um, so what I'll be giving away is a kilogram of the Engage. 15 mil boilies and also the live system glugged hook baits they are um, pellet shaped all brand new not being used not being open and the simple question is who owns CC more what is the guy's name what we're gonna do is write it down in the bottom um, what I'll do is I'll pick a winner obviously the winner's got to be a subscriber to my channel and, uh, and I'll post it free of charge to your address and the winner will be announced um, probably in a week's time, Get, give it a week, uh, or a week of the video going to show, and, I, and I'll post it to you. So, same again, who owns CC Moore? What's the guy's name? Um, good looking guy, check him out on Facebook. Also, check out the CC Moore um, Facebook page and the website. They've got cracking deals going on at the moment, good bulk deals. Um, obviously, just because I'm sponsored by them, I still buy my, my own personal bait, um, and I do an order basically every month. Um, it's good stuff. Um, it proved um, for Chris it's working, the Meteor, one of my favourites, uh, and the Odyssey Triple X is one of my favourites, but I've given that to another guy to try, uh, and he hasn't even tried it yet, so I'm a bit gutted. But um, yeah, get subscribing, get answering the questions below, uh, give it a week, and I'll, uh, I'll pick a winner. I'll, I'll video record it, pick a winner, and then let you know. Uh, other than that, three hours to go, let's see if I can uh, bag up one fish. <laughs> it's a nightmare, I tell you, but that's fishing for you, isn't it? Yeah. Should be fishing if you can't uh, take a blank at the end of the day. That's my motto. Um, but yeah, enjoy and uh, good luck. Oh, 
Right, Green is on to the important intercourse 2013. First fish was caught on late one at 13 25 hours, Brigus. nine pound one ounces. Biggest, yeah, again. Have you had one of these before? Do you want a trophy? Why don't you just bring a trophy for me? It's the same shot in it really. You don't need to take one, he's already got this. No, it's a different trophy. No, it's not. A different t-shirt as well. Right, move us on to two biggest fish. In late one, John of AMS with a 21 pound mirror. On late two, Barry Hook with a 34 pounder UPB comet. £27.40 mirror, make pressure. on the new swim. <laughs> 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 the other one, we have the biggest fish, I think it's called, Mr Hope, I'd like to present you with this rather large fish. Hey. Hey. points. 
27th, the Army Air Corps, 18.5 points. Sixth place, guest for the weekend, with 17.5. Ex Mel, thank you guys. Fifth place with 70 points, AMS. Well done, guys. In fourth place, Royal Signals. And again, I'd like to thank you for your marshals, Chris. Much appreciated. 14.5. Well done. The next three teams were swapping places quite quickly. Well, two of them were. One team was a bit ahead. In third place, Thirteen points. Second place, infantry with eleven point five. Good, Mikey. Okay. And first, a new champion. All engineers with nine point five points. Ash, 